What's up mga chong? How are you doing everyone? And then, andito na naman tayo sa panibagong vlog na we're going to be discussing about yung performance ni Alfred Sbrasa sa 1,500 meter run SEA Games. Bago natin simulan yung video ng itong mga chong, I just want to make a shout out syempre sa ating man of this event is kay Alfred Sbrasa of Iloilo and also sa Pinoy Runners Global. I just want to really thank that group kasi they are really helping out Alfred Brasa a lot when it comes to his finances. And wag ko nang patagilin pa, simulan natin yung video. So, eto actually mga chong, I didn't really expect that much na makakapasok talaga tayo sa top 3. And eto na, um, magsimula na. So, gun start. And... Hindi ako nag-expect talaga na makapasok kasi I was expecting Tontivate to run here but yun nga pala, si Tontivate is injured for um, this season so he hoping na makapag-recover siya agad and dito, gustong gusto ko yung position ni Alfred's Brasa actually kasi um, it's better not to really uh, overwork sa for the whole race and then just keeping himself in the second na position and Mariana there in the fourth and yung eto pala yung third runner na si um uh, uh, Trang Banta siya yung nat nagtalo kay Dong Bantay yung Grand Slam medalist na Vietnam so um as you expect here as you can see si Dong Bantay is not here and Phong Long Do yung second na Vietnamese runner so, uh, Timor Leste haven't really won any um, go medals yet for this SEA Games and ang ganda ng pace niya na pagdala actually. Napaka decent ng pace making niya. So, I wasn't really expecting anything from Timor Leste pero kasi from the previous na SEA Games, they weren't able to really do as much. So, ang galing ng uh, Phyllis, Phyllis Burton na ito. He's really uh, improving a lot and also the his teammate. So, for this lap, gusto ko gusto ko na yung position ni uh, Mariano Masano. Of course, his teammate and si Alfred Brasa. Sino ba naman yung kasunod mong parate kundi yung teammate mo, ba? But for that run, they were able to cross the finish line for that lap 103 so okay wow. so pero ang ang gusto ko rin dito sa Malaysian runner is napaka-relax ng kanyang rhythm din dito kasi kung compared sa ibang runners siya yung parang relax lang yung cadence niya pero si Alfred Brasa here we go he's doing a um, pace making right now and dito actually kinabahan na ako kasi I, I don't I was really hesitant na he's doing the face making na and there's still 500 meters to go so uh, pero yun nga yung sabi ko sa kanya puso talaga ito puso so let's see and Timor Leste of Villas na doing the face making right now and here's last lap na lang. Let's see kung sino mauna dito. But ang galing talaga kasi ang position ni Alfred Brasa dito is hindi siya talaga nag-overtake. Kasi yung nangyari last 2009 na SEA Games, Mariano went out mga last 350 meters to go. So here, eto, sabi ko, 200 meters to go. Let's see kung sino mananalo. Yeah, the Malaysian runner is really looking at my Brasa. Oh, medyo pa may contact diyan. Pero let's see. Akala ko talaga mananalo na yung Malaysian runner dito na si Muhammad, but here Tranbatang yung nagtalo kay Dongbata. And then long talk and then super kick talaga yung ginawa. Look at the grimace sa face ni Alfred Brasa. Last 50 meters overtaking Muhammad. And of course, 354, 355, 356. So for that lap, they were, they were able 
si Alfred Russia was able to do one on one. Napaka intense talaga yung laban na ito. Pero so many things go ongoing, last hundred meters, but luckily Alfred Russia was able to pull through. Ang galing talaga. So Napaka intense yung puso talaga yung dinamit talaga dito ni Alfred Russia. That man, our man didn't really disappoint because look at him ah ang dami niyang struggles actually before this race kasi yung pata pa wasn't really sure na kung idadalhin siya or not for this SEA Games but luckily talaga and answered prayer talaga two nights before we were talking about kung talagang papasok ba siya and then Ay, thank God talaga na nakapasok siya. And then he really didn't disappoint Philippines. Hindi talaga siya magpapatalo. Top 3. Sure yan si Alfred Brasa. And this run, 3.56, I'm really hopeful sa kanya magiging performance pa in the next SEA Games to come. And then hopefully sana makapasok din siya sa Olympics. Pero... I'm really praying na mapayagan sila na makapag-training sa Baguio kasi yun nga, yung altitude training. And then, sana lang yung national team would really support yung ating mga middle distance, not only middle distance running, tsaka long distance running, yun yung ating 40. But ang national team talaga natin, sana they'll have more support. And then, ang kagandahan lang is that ang dami nilang sponsors na Incoming, sana the dami pa and Garmin. Wag niya naman kalimutan ano. Sana um, pasokin niya naman as sponsor for next Sea Games yung ating national team. So um, kudos to Alfred Brasa and then again, kung bago kayo sa channel ko mga kachong, don't forget to subscribe in this channel and sana ngala ma rami pa tayo makuha ang mga medals for the SEA Games. And thank you again for tuning in mga chong. Thank you talaga sa support nyo. And hopefully, sa next na event, pag silver or gold tayo. Pero most likely, top 3 were, will be there. And inaabangan ko actually yung 3,000 meter steeple chase and also the 5,000 meter run. So thank you again mga chong. This is Talking Chinoy signing out.